boy. We ready? We're rolling. I grew up here in these woods, surrounded by family and trees. I'm a child of this big thicket, this sandy soil, born on a street with my name in a town named Splendora after the splendor of its flora. I'm Alton Dulaney. I'm an artist. I make art. My quest for more took me to some of the biggest cities in the world. But like any hero's journey, the prodigal son always returns home to this tiny town in the woods. It was upon this return that my parents gifted me with a practical gift, an eternal anchor, a burial plot in the Splendora Cemetery. We took up this spot with a headstone, and so on, the, on this side is a place for Alton when he goes. Yeah, we always wanted to be prepared in the first place, so we bought six plots here, and then later on, wife wanted to get a headstone, so we bought it and put here, ready to go. I designed this headstone, and uh, I drew the doves and the roses and the, all this engraving here. It's something I drew. Well, from a very early age, Alton's always been creative in school, at home, and sometimes I may not have understood just what he was doing, but it always worked out. He was very determined. I looked around the cemetery, realizing I was the proud owner of a six by eight foot piece of real estate and wondered what I was gonna do with it. I was reminded of the artist Gordon Matta Clark, best known for his sliced buildings, but who also bought tiny unclaimed parcels of land across New York City and called them art, naming it Reality Properties. Certainly owning a cemetery plot was a reality property because the reality is we all will die. Taking in this memorial park surrounded by ancestors, it occurred to me that while most people are not artists, many want a granite monument marking their existence after they're gone. The museums are filled with these types of monuments. Even the pyramids are large grave markers. Thus was born the Art Monument Series. Art is a series of mark-making events undertaken to transform objects, images, and actions in a quest for immortality. My art explores a variety of these art-making techniques. Some are temporary, like sand or water sculptures. Some are more ephemeral, like tattooing or branding, which literally last a lifetime. And some are more permanent, like video art or etched stone, which have a lifespan of thousands of years. For art monument, I chose a traditional stone of gray Texas granite and etched the word art across the top and proudly put my name across the front of the stone. The piece was featured in several exhibitions before finding a new home in Marfa, Texas, the art town created by Donald Judd. It now sits outdoors in the center of town, proudly on public view. The second piece in the series, Art Earn, came about when moving into my new studio. While sorting through the accumulations of decades, old paintings and drawings, I realized I'd made a lot of art, but not everything was something I wanted to be part of my oeuvre, my legacy. So I built a big fire in the backyard and I started burning the work. I was inspired by the artist John Baldessari, who in 1970 decided he would become a conceptual artist and destroy all of his previous work. He burned everything in an art piece called Cremation Project. When I was done, I'd burned a hundred paintings, drawings, and photographs. I gathered up the ashes and placed them into a stone container that I titled Art Urn, an amalgamation of half a lifetime. In 2021, I continued the series with Art Bench. I'd long been inspired with the idea of functional art, the work by the artist Scott Burton or the text-laden work of Jenny Holzer. So I decided to create my own art bench. The piece was shown in a solo exhibition where it sold to a private collector who took it to their Colorado home. It now sits by a tranquil lake overlooked by a beautiful mountain range. She 
Charmaine and I actually came to Splendora on a dream. I mean, it was literally a dreamscape out there in our mind's eye. This came from that first uh, seed of desire to build something here in the Splendora Woods. It was magnificent. It still is. You know, my dream came true. Growing up as a self-identified artist in Splendora, I early on heard the rumor of another artist that lived right here in my hometown, an established artist who was destined to be my mentor. Alton was born in Splendora. He grew up in Splendora. He's a, you know, he's a, <laughs> what, what could you call him? He's part of the woods grass. You know, he's part of the existing system here. He was still a student. Um, who came wide-eyed, uh, full of interest, uh, had a, a lot of desire to, uh, for involvement. And so it was like the perfect kind of system to, for him to step into and for us to receive. Uh, he's been involved ever since. James had talked about this dream of a trail through the woods with these carved out galleries for years. When everything finally came together, it was a great honor to be invited to participate in this outdoor exhibition. A gift from the Bower is, is the, really, in one sense, it's the title of an exhibition. The idea of a path that was traversable. How could you, in essence, stroll through the woods? Well, we dreamed of that, and literally 40 years later, we did it. We made the path. We cut 1,800 feet of a walking path that meanders, in essence, like a creek through the woods. Off of this are little, uh, you could call them cul-de-sacs, you could call them eddies, you could call them uh, a room. I call them a bower. So the bower has a metaphoric uh, kind of gift in a way, hence gift from the bower. James has an impressive body of work, which includes some stone engraved monuments. So I knew this would both be appropriate for the setting and have the durability to live here in the woods. In the end, I hope I've created a classic piece of timeless sculpture, an art object that speaks to the artistic practice of mark making and the human quest for immortality through monument making. Something that marks this moment right here in the forest and something that outlives us. I, I don't know how you uh, evaluate the importance of a friendship that has manifested itself into something that's sort of beyond the moment. You know, this is, this is now much bigger than just today. Uh, and I, I really appreciate that a lot. It's really, rewarding when you are around and working with the ones that do. I, I feel really good about that. And I feel really good about Alton's presence. This piece may find its way into a private collection and be enjoyed by its new owner. It may wind up in a museum for guests to ponder for years to come. Or it may just be right here in the Splendor Cemetery, a testament to the fact that once in time, I was here. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming out today to A Gift from the Bower. I am Alton Dulaney, and I am a the only artist in this show that actually lives in Splendora. So I welcome you all to Splendora. Super happy to have everyone out today. I am collaborating today to activate the space with uh, both Sammy Butts, who is a documentary filmmaker, who is also from Splendora, and Anthony Bob, a uh, pianist who is gonna play a song for us. I wanna thank Diverse Works for having us out today. I wanna thank James and Charmaine for putting this all together and all the other fabulous artists uh, who have joined us today. And with that, 